So now that we've got the seat off, I'll show you a little bit as to how I wired this system. I think I should start by saying and explaining the exact way I wanted this auxiliary light system to work on my bike. I knew that I wanted a switch that would turn the lights on and off. But more importantly, I also knew that I wanted that switch to trigger the lights only when the bike was on. I did not want the lights to be able to be turned on even if the bike was off. So if you come into a campsite one evening, you forget to turn the lights off, or a child turns the lights on when you're away from the bike without you knowing, and the next morning you wake up to a dead battery. So in order to achieve that, on my bike, I use an auxiliary fuse box, it's called. I have this set up with a relay, and to summarize for anyone that doesn't understand what an auxiliary fuse box does, I have power that only gets delivered to this fuse box when the bike is on, and it's the relay that triggers that. Then I attach any of my accessories, including the auxiliary lights, to this auxiliary fuse box. Therefore, any of the accessories I have connected to this fuse box are only delivered power when the bike is on. Then, when I double that up with the light switch for the fuse lights, for, excuse me, for the, the auxiliary lights, I have the system that I wanted. The lights will only turn on when I turn the switch on, but they will also only work when the bike is turned on. All right, let me try to show you some of the wiring here. So this is the relay that came with the wire harness with the auxiliary lights. Going into the relay, there's the ground wire and the positive wire. These both run to my auxiliary fuse box back here. The other two wires are the main wire that run to the two lights and a wire that I've used that runs to my switch. So there's four wires that go into the relay. You can see that the two wires I've threaded through the bike. Those run, like I said, to the lights and to the switch. The positive and the ground run back here to my fuse box. Another important aspect of the wiring is an inline fuse. So this is the relay, and this is the positive cable that runs around to my auxiliary fuse box. Between the relay and the auxiliary fuse box is an inline fuse, and I've used that to protect the wiring on this auxiliary light circuit. So if anything is to happen, if there's a surge of power, this inline fuse should be the first and the weakest part in the, uh, in the link. It'll be the first thing to blow, protecting the wiring of the auxiliary light circuit.
All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and that some of you found it helpful. If anyone's interested in using some of the products I use in my light setup, please consider checking out the description. I'll have some Amazon affiliate links. And if you use one of those links to purchase any of the products that I use in my light setup, it doesn't cost you any extra at all, but it's a great way to help out the channel as we'll receive a small part of each purchase using those links. All right, guys, catch you later.